We do have a page. It's called Our Cute Animals on AZTV.com. But in person, I'm walking over and I'm doing very, go slowly, right, Tara? Here. Go slowly. Okay. okay, I'm gonna come over slowly because I'm, uh, I've heard this guy can jump 200 feet. No, just kidding. <laughs> I, that's what I'm coming to learn about armadillos. Okay, he, Tara, whoa, Tara. Why is he coming after me? Come join me. <laughs> this is Ralphie, our three-banded armadillo. <laughs> All right, a three-banded. We're with the three-banded. We were talking about this. There are other. How many bit? Why? Okay, stop, he's eyeballing me. He's gonna say hi. I like how I'm first. I'm like pretty cool. I'm like, oh, that cute animal. And then I have to get up close to him. Um, okay, this is a three-banded armadillo. And why is he called a three-banded armadillo? So this is a great way for you to see it, he has those three bands of skin growing across his back and that's what enables him to be able to roll up. A lot of what we see on commercials or TV cartoons where armadillos roll up into a ball, he can actually do that and these are the only species of armadillo that can. Wow, okay, and now there's, we were talking about a nine? We have uh, nine bandits in nine North bandits. America, they're okay. the only species native to North America and those are the ones you're going to see in like Texas, the southwest sort of, Yeah. and the ones are the ones you see on TV a lot as well. It's amazing. Now I'm looking at his claws there. I mean, is that, I mean, is, is, are those our claws, right? Those are nails. So they're like our nails made the same thing, they're just a lot longer. These guys are insectivores, so a lot of what they're going to eat are insects that live underground. So they need to be really good at digging and they have those long nails to help them. Wow, they're so amazing. So let's talk about the Phoenix Zoo because it's that time of year where we're starting to see more people getting out there because the weather's turning nice. And you guys have a lot going on out there. We have some beautiful weather happening right now. So really any day is a great day to stop by. We have our flamingo walks almost every day. We also have our ambassador animals shows starting Thursday through Sundays. We have a few different times posted for those. Make sure you check out social media to keep updated on that because we'll be debuting our new show soon. Yeah. All right. I want to go back to Ralphie right here because that's my dog's name too. So now I have a Ralphie here. Um, he eats worms, but do they dig for them or what do they do? How do they, how do they, they get will. out in the, in the, like the wild? So armadillos, their sense of sight is okay. They can't see the best, but they can smell really well. So what they're gonna do in the wild is smell out all those places where lots of different insects, worms, grubs, bugs, all those sorts of things are they're gonna live underground. They use those long nails to help dig and find them. They are crepuscular, so they'll be up dawn to dust sort of when the other bugs are out as well. Yeah, and I like how, you know, when they, Whoa, okay, I don't have it. She's has it over here. He just came over to me. This is <laughs> like I said, they have a very good sense of smell, so he's probably smelling something. Something on me. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully, I haven't eaten chicken yet, so we have him up there. Um, again, this thing is so, I'm just watching him, and it's kind of neat to watch him. Now, do you bring him out at the zoo for people to meet him? We do. Ralphie is an ambassador animal, so he lives behind the scenes, but once in a while, we'll bring him out to say hi to everybody and teach everybody about armadillos. He's very personable. They're really smart. A lot of people don't really assume an animal like this could be so personable, but he really is. I love it. Will he get any bigger or is that as big as he Ralphie is? is full grown. He's is a he? little over a year now, but these guys are, are very small species of armadillo. So, wow. And what's the, have you ever seen the bigger, what's the biggest one they ever get? Because, I mean, Our I've seen biggest like armadillos are going to be the giant armadillos, and we don't have any of those at the zoo, but they can get pretty large. Wow. And I know that, uh, I know people kind of like avoid these because I know they're always out in the road, like you said, they don't see very well, but. Nine feet and armadillos are actually able to jump up about five feet I'm sorry, whoa, 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 whoa. Which ones? The, the nine bandits. Okay, so I'm okay with him. Yes. How far, how high can they jump? Nine bandits can jump about five feet directly into the air, and that's one of their defense mechanisms. That's one of the reasons why you see them getting hit by cars. Okay, I just he just told me he's jumping Anyone there. from Texas knows, <laughs> knows that. that that's a problem. We don't really have that problem here, luckily, but. Tara, thank you. And again, um, I, can I tell a little secret? about the zoo. Absolutely. And that is get those passes because you get to get in early, you get to have fun, you get to stay a little late, and you get some really cool information. So, uh, the Phoenix Zoo, thanks for stopping by. No so problem. That's it right there. All right, um, and don't forget, go to our aztv.com slash cute animals page to see some of the animals out at the Phoenix Zoo. Thanks to uh, Travis, who loves doing those for us. Sorry.